Hey guys, Denise here. So I'm back with a new video. And today's video, I want to really talk about my beautiful book, Hello Vulnerability. And I just want to talk about the process that I have throughout writing the book and just some of my favorite poems that are in the book. So when I first started writing this book, I already had a first like full draft of it done. And I was actually going to like, you know, publish it right then and there. But the thing was, when I went back home a couple months before I wanted to start on this, um, I reread the entire thing and was just like, actually, I might want to rechange it up. So I still have that little project with me at home, but I didn't decide to publish it. So I wanted to start from scratch new making sure I took all the time that I could for it. Um, I thought about the idea for a year, hence on why I didn't really publish much anyway. So, took a year off of doing all that and just, you know, work on my poetry and making sure that it's improved, which indeed it has. Um, so with this, um, hence the title, I wanted to focus on being really vulnerable because I've always had issues with being vulnerable to like not only like friends but also family big time as well. So I wanted to focus on being vulnerable emotionally and half these poems are like emotionally and physically. So I had to be in that mindset of being vulnerable as I was writing these poems and half of these poems I honestly had like breakdowns and everything I let out how I felt and then there's also those moments of vulnerability where you know you realize a lot of things and it doesn't come clear to you until you fully like actually realize it so it was a long year to actually process everything making sure which poems I wanted to put in which poems I didn't want to put in and Honestly, even though words of emotion experience and words of words will always have a place in my heart, but this one represents who I am. Like the hello vulnerability represents who I am as a person. And just seeing this just physically, just my words physically in here is just, it's amazing, honestly. It really is. It's amazing. Holy crap. <laughs> and also in some of the poems too. If you bought the book, it's on Amazon. You can go on Amazon and buy it. And it's also as well on iBooks. So you can go on iBooks and buy it as well. I'm still trying to figure it out for Kindle and everything like that. So hopefully the Kindle version should be out. I want to say by the new year. So just a couple more weeks. <laughs> Um, I drew a couple drawings in the book. I drew them. Um, the little, I don't know if you can see, but there is like little hearts right here. And I actually drew those for each corner of the pages, except for the last page on 79 and the beginning, the beginning of the pages so of like the copyrights, the dedication and the definition of vulnerability. Now with this, I put that in the front for a reason and it, it's to remind people what it is, what vulnerability means, or what vulnerability and vulnerability is the exact same thing. So, yeah. And then in the end, I also put, I also wrote in, in italicized, the importance throughout the entire book is to spread the message that, message that it is okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to show those those moments where you do break down, whether it's emotionally or mentally or physically. Should put physically, but you kind of get the gist. So it's probably one of my best projects yet. Um, future ahead for me with my with books. I'm currently working on a really huge project, but it won't be coming out for a while now. I'm pretty sure, when I mean a while, I'm pretty sure a few years, to be honest with you. I have that one project aside. I have submitted some 
Poems to Delivery magazines. Um, what else have I done? I'm working on a little, another little project too, but I'm not gonna really start fully like working on it until like 2018. So that's awesome. Um, I think those are my plans thus as of so far. I don't want to overload myself, but I'm gonna read you some of the poems from the book. Um, if you got the book, um, I will just list the page numbers because all of these poems are not titled. <laughs> You're like thorns, prickly me, gaining wounds and aftermarks. Vicious and sensitive, where the tingly sensation is painful. This reminds me of you. The wound should have been healed long ago. It's still stabbing me endlessly, and all I want is this pain to be over for the sake of you and I. You're clear. Everything about you is vivid. I can notice anyone else, but my eyes were set on you. You're different from the rest. There's something about you that stands out to me. How your splendid smile brightens up my day whenever seeing you around feels warm. Because you're alive, you're seeing another day. The fact that you are you is what makes me attractive to you. And I should also have this idea of saving these page on the pages so I can actually tell y'all what page what pages the poems is on. Because that's a good idea. My tongue been from all the bush bullshit you've caused and yet I'm still the one to blame. Did I say the other one? I'll probably go back in and write the own little page number in. I just want to read a few more because I don't want to take up a lot more time. Some of these poems as well, while I'm actually while I'm looking for some of the poems to read. They're really short and straight to the point. So yeah. I'm like a toy. You want to play me. Play me harder. Where bruises appear. Marks completely shown. And yet I hold myself together without exploding. This was by far one of my favorites. She reminds me of petals. The delicacy of her presence flows into the surroundings. Wanting to be just as grateful as her. Graceful as her. Mine are filled, suck into the ground, water and mud pounding as everyone steps all over me, turning from soft to hard and burden a mess around me. I should stop comparing myself to other petals because I'm my own petals, beautiful, delicate, and gracious in my own ways. I don't know if it's worth stealing someone in your past that's bitter or someone toxic still having your name in, your, in their mouth. Oh, that poem is actually, to be honest, shade. One more. Alright. 
Shout out to the best friend because I mentioned about our friendship in this poem. There's a backstory of this poem, but I'd rather not talk about it because if I do end up talking about it, the girl is going to get all types of God knows what and just go insane and yeah, show her pathetic side. You try to break the pure friendship. You try to separate us from each other in many ways possible. Five years of what a true friendship is supposed to be. Is that the reason why you're bitter? How my best friend and I get called best friend goals due to us encouraging each other, guessing each other up, having each other's backs, and people tend to compliment us and how we treat each other. People are pathetic. The bitterness is real. There is a backstory behind that, and I will save that for another video. But thank you guys for watching. I really hope you get the gist of what I'm wanting to like tell in the book that it is okay to not be okay. It's okay to show emotions and also while I'm at it, before I do leave, I want to leave the dedication, a little bit of the dedication. This is the last part of it. To the people who call me over dramatic to emotional, many other names to say that I'm like that. You all inspire me to write this and I'm still going to continue to be that way. What I'm saying is basically, yes, I guess you could say quote unquote I'm dramatic. Oh my, I don't see it. It's not true. Um, I'm too emotional. I'm sorry that I actually care about other people's feelings and you know, I'm still going to continue being this way whether they like it or not and it's not necessarily to bash on them but it's for me to be like, yay, I can actually express how the fuck I feel and <laughs> guys can't really say shit about it because it's my emotions it's how I feel it doesn't concern to you so it's not my fault that I'm this way but I'll leave a shady video later but thank you guys for watching if you liked it make sure you give a thumbs up and comment down below if you bought the book and if so just put down the page number of what poem you like out of the book and as well make sure you buy my book on Amazon I will leave the link down below and until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.